Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly fix the SQL error that you get when I'm trying to install OpenVAS Vulnerability Scanner within any Kali or I should say Linux based system. Now I got this error trying to install it before, I've fixed it so it might look a little bit different for you. Um, well it will look different for you when doing the trying to fix this but I will try and explain it as quickly and as uh, clear as I can. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your Linux system is updated so type sudo apt update and then two ampersands sudo apt upgrade so it'll do both commands it'll update so download the files and then upgrade them uh, or upgrade your system with them files hyphen y and once you've done that you should have the latest sql version on your system so if you're watching this in the future that could be 17 18 god knows it could be 20. <laughs> um so i'm just going to close this terminal or oh, i'll try to uh there we go um and basically what you need to do is you need to type sudo pg underscore ls clusters and this will display all of the versions of sql that you got and when trying to run gvm underscore or hyphen um, install or setup and start i think it's setup and then start you'll come across this error on the screen and that's why you're watching this video and essentially it's because your current system is using the old version of sql when it needs when OpenVAS requires the new version so you've got version 15 and it needs 16 but the issue is that the 15 is running on the port that is required for for um, OpenVAS to work so 5432 is the port that the latest version of the SQL must be on so all it is is editing the config files of all of the clusters you've got so if you've got multiple clusters in here then you just need to sort of move them up one port it's incremental so it's 5432 is the base, 5433, 5434, uh, <laughs> um, and all you need to do is run this command here, sudo nano, and then um, etc, etc, and here is the version, so you need to edit all of them. I only had 15 and 16, so I went into the 16 config file, which I will do here, just to show you. Um, let me just uh, type it really quick. So sudo nano, I'll do it really quick for you. So um, 16, then main, and then post sql.conf. Then you'll get into the nano file. You scroll down with the arrow keys and change the port. So here for you, it should say 5433. If it says 5433, then change it to 5432. Then control and press the letter O. Then click enter, control and X. Then we need to go into the other config file. So we've just edited 16's version config file. And then we need to go back into the 15, the previous version, which is your current version, and then edit that file. Now I can't show you that because basically I don't have version 15 installed. Um, so if I click enter, nothing's there. But you do the same thing again. You just scroll down with the arrow keys, find the ports, change 5432 to 5433. And then essentially what we've done is we've changed will swap around the versions and the ports so version 15 was used in 5432 and version 16 was used in 5433 we changed the config file for 16 to use 5432 and we had to change the version of 15 uh, the port of 15 because they can't both use port 5432 then we changed version 15 to use 5433 so we sort of kicked 15 off and put 16 on, on port 5432. If that doesn't fix it, so basically the only other command you can do to test it is sudo gvm hyphen setup. Run the setup again and then type start. If that doesn't fix it, then I recommend just going nuclear and basically just completely deleting the previous cluster. So the way to do that is if I should have the command saved in my previous commands from actually doing it myself hopefully um yeah it should be here now uh, there we go so we can completely drop a cluster by typing sudo pg underscore drop cluster hyphen hyphen stop and then the version that you want to drop so for me it was the previous version 15 because i wanted to upgrade to 16 so i completely dropped it and that's why i don't see it here anymore this is like more of a, like a nuclear option, I suppose. Get rid of 15 and then force it to use 16, but make sure it's still using port 5432. If you see this, only 16 here, 
and it's using 5433 then it still won't work so you still got to go into the config file of 16 and edit it to 5432 and hopefully then it should work you shouldn't get that sql error the wrong version error um i would recommend restarting um like restarting it all basically so if you run this command here it should be here somewhere um keep going up it should be here somewhere um it's basically just sudo i'll, I'll type it out um it just restarts the sql um servers so uh, let me have a look there we go so sudo service and then it's post gre sql restart if you click that uh, or enter that that should restart it all once you change the port numbers it should update that a, a restart will hopefully fix the sql error you've got um but only after you've changed the port number to the latest version um and then hopefully you should be able to run gvm hyphen setup and then gvm hyphen start if i click if i if i type that and click enter oh well <laughs> i need to run sudo make sure you run sudo in front of everything and then give it a second and let's see if it works at this point this is where the error typically shows up around here it'll say like you're using version 15 when you should be on 16. um hopefully that error is gone for you now after changing the config files of each version um i should mention if you've got more than three versions installed like you've got 14 15 and 16 then just move them one up if that makes sense so if 14 is using 5432 and 15 is using 5433 just move them up one each set the 16 to 5432 14 to 5433 and 15 to 5433 or 5434 four. <laughs> um, but hopefully that's not too confusing um, I don't know is this starting I think it's I think it's starting anyway let me just go we've got the web UI and the account uh, I don't know why it says login failed I don't even have an account with it um, oh as a bonus tip for making it this long if it has worked hopefully it has thumbs up it if it thumbs up if it has for you but um, you can run this command here to create an account if you don't like um, like remember what it automatically generated for you so you just type this command in so i'll just i'll run it for you now so i'll create an, an account called admin2 and then a password of admin2 click enter user created and then i should be able to log in so admin uh, give it a refresh just in case and then i'll type admin2 and then admin2 let me do that again a bit slower and then there we go so I've logged in and I can do scans, etc. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this video did help. I know it took 10 minutes, but it's um, a pain to fix. And I do appreciate all the problems you're having. So if you do have any questions, any more issues, please leave a comment and I'll try and help me best to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.